Hello, hi there. Oh, Niz, can you hear me? Hey, Curtis, it is so great to connect with you. Yes, yes, oh, Niz, oh, Niz, great. Thank you, thank I you so much. My utter apologies, I know it's been so challenging for us to actually find a time to connect. I've had an ongoing stream of house guests that has been <laughs> never ending since May, and it's very out of character for me, it's very unusual for me. So yeah. thank you for your understanding, and I'm happy to finally get a chance to connect with you. Right, exact same here, same here, but in understanding that, uh, you know, all our orbits, you know, kind of flow as they're supposed to, you know, and they align in, in perfect timing. I knew that you would not be insulted and that you would be in exactly that peaceful alignment. So I wasn't concerned, but allow me to say that. Yes, it was not because of like, like lack of interest or anything like that. So thank you yes. for understanding. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. I know you all are flying, flying is on you all over the place, all over. <laughs> all, all the time, all over the place. And then involving other people, it becomes even more, um, uh, whatever, harmonic, harmonically challenging. He said, right. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, how have you been? I know you've been no in and out and things. Uh, uh, I've seen like you post a new video uh, recently too. Uh, how are you grounding and everything? I'm doing very well. Like this is actually very new for me. I have two new housemates since mm -hmm. May. This is what's new. And so in some ways like wonderful, good new socialization. And also like I've been branching out into music and um, music and video type of explorations of lasagna. So like branching out in all sorts of good ways. And then also like having to find the dynamic stability with this new thing going on. Like two new people living in my house and also they have a cat and figuring out how the cat and dog are fitting together, how the humans are fitting together. And also like integrating work time, like when I do my music to make sure that I'm not too loud for other people. Mm -hmm. And like they, they knew moving in that I'm, you know, a loud flying rainbow lasagna person. So that was not, it's not like living other places. Like they knew what they were getting into, but I still try to be respectful, but it's still a challenge. So, so, right. but all, all in all, very, very good positive forward movement, like all good things to report mm -hmm. upon in like opportunities opening up and creative development happening. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, that's beautiful. <laughs> How about you? The same, finding the harmonic resonance and, and all that is in my space and um, and knowing that that's a daily practice. You know, <laughs> every time, you, even when you imagine somebody balancing anything, they're never just like, like a statue, they always okay, a little bit here, a little bit here, a <laughs> little bit here. So always constantly having, knowing, being aware that that balance is definitely necessary and something to practice on. Yes, so with the new yeah. family, the baby, the kids, um, and everybody in orbit, so it's just always moving, like I said. How old is your new baby? He is 11 weeks, so today is Saturday, oh. so. Yes, 11 weeks. <laughs> so many congratulations. That is like a super new person. Yes, yes, so fresh on the plane. That is wonderful. And I'm certain that that takes up a lot of focus and a lot of energy and is so wonderful and rewarding too. You have, and do you have other kids too? Yes, we have uh, four total, uh, three, in, uh, three, total three now in the household, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm sending you like so many blessings and, you know, good hugs and everything. That's so wonderful to hear. Good. And I received. And I received. <laughs> mm -hmm. And finally now, so uh, you were telling me some, some of your your travel. No, you said you weren't, didn't make it Charleston. Another show that you went to that you were sent out, um, summarizing that was coming forward that you were um, doing. So what are some of the things that you are doing in the... And uh, of course, I had asked you, um, um, would you like to record uh, this meeting? Or? Yes, that's totally fine. Thank you for being so respectful. Yes, I have no problem with that. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And I don't know if you can see me okay. Yes, I look, I'm like a, a tiny thumbnail. Okay, good. Awesome. I see, and I see all the beautiful art around you too. Of course, self-made. Yes, I'm sitting here <laughs> in my studio. I have my artwork in the back. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> All right, so um, I really wanted to connect on, well, first again, thank you for, for your expressions of self, because I'm um, an artist myself, I love to dance, I love to sing, um, I teach dance, I teach um, awesome. I storytelling, um, I work with my hands and make like organ pyramids and one of the things with crystals and pendants and different things. So your, your, your uniqueness and how you share 
really uh, connected a lot of things for me, from colors to shapes to sounds and how you merged it into your uh, singularity or your, your still, your stream was so, uh, it was like water, you know, because I had another uh, friend of mine who was like more, I got the balance, but was more, uh, I guess, Saturnalian or, or more masculine um, and kind of rigid, like, you know, and then yours was like, ah, this perfect blend that, you know, really yes. gave me, you know, getting the balance. <laughs> Both. Beautiful. Yes, yes. The lasagna is very curvilinear and definitely has like that more whatever divine feminine kind of sense to it. Exactly divine feminine. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so uh, what's some of the new things that you're working on that you wanted to connect with today? Or so I, ha I mean, I have a new semester going and you are absolutely invited if you want to participate. And what I'm doing that's a little bit different this semester is I'm actually giving out drawing homework. So what I used to do in the past, I just gave students like a video homework that you watch and then we would have a live webinar where you talk about the concept. But now I'm actually giving people assignments like you're going to have to draw circles and measure things and do a little bit of math. And for like, I've been doing my class for like six and a half years. So I decided like I wanted to do this as not the last semester, but like I want to branch off into more expansive projects. So I'm telling everyone like I'm going to take a pause after this. I'm going to take a little break. And in order to do this semester, I had to do something a little new. So I said, what would I do if I were actually teaching at a college level? Well, I would be like, you guys are going to have to actually make drawings in a sketchbook. So I'm making everybody actually do drawing homework. And I'm a very, I'm, I'm like, I'm tough but fair. I'm a strict teacher. And then they have to take a picture of their homework and send it to me. So that's, I literally just started that this week. So wish me luck because like, I'm trying to like get everyone on board, get them to do it. I think that I have very good students and that they will actually do their homework. So we, we will have to see, but I'm waiting for the incoming assignments to come to me. So that's one fun and exciting thing. And literally yesterday and today I've been packing up cause I'm ready to go to this conference that's called ECT. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, ECT. E-C-E-T-I is the name of this guy's ranch, James Gilliland. He is up in near Mount Washington, Washington State. Mm -hmm. And he it's, it's his own private property and he invites people there both to, to have a co like workshops and conferences and have speakers, but also to do kind of like technology-based sky gazing mm -hmm. where they look with infrared at night to see if they can find UFOs and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the, the, and the sky watch is interesting. I think they get a lot of like triangular, you know, the triangular UFOs and kind of like technological ones. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do a presentation about flying rainbow lasagna and kind of give more of the flavor of the idea like my people don't use a metal starship to travel mm -hmm. and more of the idea of using um, vibration, frequency, willpower, consciousness. And then I just, I made some new music for it too. Like I'm getting all into using digital tools to make music, but like I like to, you know, keep it, like soulful like not not like you know like a lot of electro music you know what i'm talking about it sounds like a robot made it that's not my approach but i wanted to make some lasagna music that people could dance to and there's no copyright issues because there's always like if i use i put on like disco music from the 1970s like good times hey. and then there's a copyright problem you know so it's hard yeah. so i know so i made some of my own music and so i'm gonna segue from the workshop into a dance party and kind of like get everybody actually dancing mm -hmm. at this conference actually mm -hmm. learning the flying rainbow lasagna so like th that's something like like that's what actually what i want to do for in moving out of the classroom into the actual experience of lasagna so mm -hmm. that's kind of like my creative goal and where i'm moving with my projects mm -hmm. i want to do these things that are more like audience participation where they might have noise makers where you swing something around your head and make a noise i might have like blue section go red section go and then also have a lot of um projections like animated projections that are going in time to the music so all of this it's like a stew that is still cooking but it's cooking it's coming it might take like a couple of years but i tell you it's coming it's coming, it's coming. That's, that's beautiful you can feel it i'm, I'm visualizing it now as as it because again i know i know it's <laughs> It's going to be really good. It's gone through many genesis. I thought at one point that it would be like a traveling show that would go from festival to festival. But I think it might be the type of thing that's like a planetarium show, you know, where they have it like um, mm -hmm. a laser light show, it, like an indoor type of thing. It might need like a dome or something like that. So I'll have to see about exactly what type of performance space. And also like it might be virtual reality. There might be like something where you're just looking at it personally, not projected on a screen, but like experiencing it personally. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to come out. Yeah, that being that's that's the beauty of it, man. I'm not trying to put a box on it and say it's going to be this, but it's going to it intrude all these elements, you know, available. That's right. 
it's an exploration and I'll also I'll reassure you and everyone like I haven't joined the Borg I'm not like becoming tech techno lasagna <laughs> but what I'm finding like technology can be a really good tool for sharing beautiful spiritual ideas so I'm not going to be like oh no no I'm not going to use a computer because right. like I use the phone so I can talk to you million, uh, hug, whatever you're 3,000 miles away like all of this is the redemption of technology so I'm not against technology exactly and it's just another yeah. tool along your utility belt you know to make things make that that's how I look at it Exactly. Like that's yeah. And um, and with, to, with the awareness that all is self and there's no separation, it's only illusion of separation. And how right. <laughs> we would just, I was just you know, having a conversation with another beautiful friend of mine talking about uh, drawing and, and dancing. And for myself, I was talking about uh, how, cause again, cause I, love, I love music. Uh, uh, um, I was actually studying to be an ethnomusicologist, which is a study of music and society, a music effect society. And how um, the genesis of what the, the picture was um, <laughs> when you're dancing. Oh, it was that uh, Stevie Wonder. You can feel it all over. You can feel it. You can feel it all over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's talking about music, how you feel it, and how my teachers say um, it's a musical, uh, music is a, a global phenomenon, not necessarily a universal language. It's just you know, everywhere there's. Yes. Exactly, yes. and how it um, makes beyond language and goes right to your heart. Exactly, exactly, and it's so easy to well before well I guess when the Western side when you they split things up um, to, to understand it. Okay, you got to be music. And you have dance. You know, music, dance. You just look at the dance. No, just let me look at the music. But when we go back to the origins, it was like no separation between the two. When music is playing, somebody's dancing. When somebody's dancing, there's music playing, even if it's in the head. You know. <laughs> completely if, if we go back like into more ancient times music and dance were part of our daily it, it, like day that was how we did our day like there were work songs there were times when you danced and that was socially acceptable so i'm a, like i'm a walk-in i'm a cultural outsider when i first came here i would literally walk down the street dancing yeah. and i did not understand like that makes you very vulnerable mm -hmm. to being picked up you know by by the society control mechanism in some way <laughs> i had to learn and so then after I learned, I was here for a little while, I learned like, okay, like you just gotta bring it down a couple of notches so that you're not right. dancing overtly, you dance inwardly. But yeah, no, you're not allowed to dance. And, and uh, you know, like they play music in the grocery store. And mm -hmm. like when I'm in the grocery store and good music comes out, like I will sing loud because that is not against the law. They cannot arrest you. Right, and I know right. the words, so I'm right. singing good. Exactly, it's expressing themselves. And uh, like I'm still learning to that, that fine line between appropriateness in, in this uh this paradigm of thinking within the in the society and and just staying stiff you know if i, if I feel like saying i was saying in the grocery store sometimes people sing along you know? that that i have totally had that experience the entire deli section was singing bohemian queen song uh, that was fantastic we all did a karaoke style and so it's like everybody's in their super boring job and then you come in and bring some life to the place it's how you break out of the matrix Exactly, you bring the light, yeah. the, 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 the glyphs of the nature. It's like, you, what yes. is this? Like, why is she going that way? Why is she, you know, why is she doing this? Yes, yeah, to get out of the zombie hood, like the, mm -hmm. the un unengaged routine that most people are in. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to be a spark like that, and I sense that you do too. Mm -hmm. I do indeed. And again, yeah. also on the dance step, um, it was, and how it's so easy to identify resonance. Um, yeah with music, like for example, yeah. uh, if you're like, we speak on a, a level of consciousness where um, a five-year-old don't get, you know, or a 30-year-old, 80-year-old, not necessarily in the resonance, not necessarily saying age is a, a, a hindrance on it, but when you speak like, oh, they might not get me, but if you like singing the song, you on the beat and you, and somebody joins in, ah, they're made immediately in resonance on the same frequency, okay, now we're here, no, now we can, we can dance together now, we can talk together, we can sing together, and then I, you, I can stop even let you freestyle or we freestyle at the same time or improvisation. And, and so that's one of my favorite, my, one of my favorite things with singing and dancing is when you do it together and finding a harmony between souls. And then when then even more deeper, you see that on an external, you're, you're, you're on the frequency, but also internally, your organs, you know, uh, and their frequency and their orbits start to connect with the others and the heart and the your field is flowing and, and that's when it hurts me is birth. But when you sit, when most people are like, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I 
if I'm if, am I free enough? Can I do it here? And all these questions going on, and it it, it dampens the whole song, you know, because yeah. just be free, you know, or be open. Yeah. I think people feel social license, like free license to be themselves when they see so like that guy over there is enjoying himself. That means I'm allowed to do this too, or singing or moving in the way you want to. Even like our society is so constrained or has been so constrained. Like you're not allowed to like stretch. You're not allowed to like, you know, like do a yoga stretch or whatever, you know, like you're supposed to be in certain formal like postures. Mm -hmm. So like, I always like, I learned how to be polite, but then like, I kind of stretched the boundaries a little bit. And I was very excited when everyone wore yoga pants as a style, because then I could wear yoga pants during the day and I could do the stretch without right. having to think uh, like, this is a weird person. Like, they, I, like they, you kind of fit in now. Exactly, everybody wears yoga pants, it is normal. So we got to normalize like taking care of the body. Like, it, you know something, it's not normal to sit for two hours without stretching. Like you have to do stuff. You have to like all of this, we have to normalize that and self care and uh, like, uh, oh my God, there's, and I'm like, an, I'm a visitor teaching humans. Like this is how you care for a human body. Like this is how it's, what it's come to. Right, right, right. I mean, the, 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 it was no manual. Well, no manual was passed down. It was lost right. somewhere in, in the domino that but they get to you how to be, how to operate this vessel, how to operate this ship, how to take care of the ship. That's <laughs> right. This is the sh it's a living ship. And so like I've worked at lots of different jobs at different levels of the society and a lot of the lowest paying jobs, they wanted you to do things that weren't good for your vessel. Mm -hmm. And like thing, everything from like having to use a plastic machine that gave bad mm -hmm. fumes into the air or just something that is dangerous. Like I worked in a lot of, you know, custom framing like art shops and stuff like that. Right. And I'm like, this is not good for the body. Like no one should mm -hmm. have to do this. So I, I like, I got the crash course in how bosses will exploit you and ask you to do, do things that are dangerous for your body and how we should say, no, that is not appropriate. Like, this is my spaceship. I need this to fly through space. I should not breathe in plastic fumes and other things like that. That's deep, then. Uh, you make that, that correlation. Um, and then how, and then with society, well, not with more than that, um, throughout history, they are oppressed. You know, um, slavery is still maybe outside of chain, but you still um, stay to the wages, you know, and, and just warm your body with the less money because you need it the most because you apply for the job, so that must mean you're willing to do the job. So, clank, clank, you're now in bonded in this contract <laughs> until you decide that I'm worth more and I can do more with this amazing speech. You know, shit. I I'm absolutely agreeing with you. The, the our invisible chains, the behavioral controls that are at work right now in our society are invisible chains. And then a lot of it is about social programming and social control and that we break free when we start a new program. And these are the type of things that I like teach about with flying rainbow lasagna and that I embody myself. So all these things of like dancing when you do your day and like dancing and singing in the store and all this, this is like, behaving on a genetic level in a way that is slightly socially inappropriate because mm -hmm. society tells you you're supposed to be decrepit and grow older and then die and yeah. i'm just telling everyone like no you don't have to do that you can be healthy and vital <clears throat> as you move through time it gets stronger and stronger and society's like no no like because they, mm -hmm. they want weak elders mm -hmm. you know they, they don't like the idea of like indigenous people like as you grew older you grew stronger and then like grandfather mm -hmm. was the strongest person like they don't like mm -hmm. the idea of that at all mm -hmm. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, another major correlation. Like that, that is, yeah, that as you go over your home, so it's only there's more experience, more wisdom. You know? That's right. But that's right. Like, think about a musician who's been in their career for 50 years. They are at a virtuoso. They know a lot. They can play really well. We don't think like, oh, they're weaker than a beginner. Like, that's unimaginable. Right. So it's a, it's a complete recalibration of our expectation about mm -hmm. moving through time and what our body is going to be like. And that's that's very flying in lasagna too. And again, that's the, that's the program. That's the, the, the rote music, the... The, the music that stuck on the on the disc and just played over and over and over again until they begin to believe the lie or the, the broken record. You know, the broken record, every day, every day, every day, every day. you can feel it, you can feel it, you can feel it, and then you realize. Oh, completely. <laughs> so just until they break that, you know, break that out into, um, from the circle to the Fibonacci and, and then continue to explore, yes. see to expand yes. more there or outward. Um, then that, that's, we talk a lot about in the tribe, um, secret, we have a tribe called Secret Energy where we connect on with uh, it's a global tribe but we all understand that all is self and then we our model is we activate humans and uh so that is a common practice of understanding self and going into deeper essences 
to connect everyone that's around you who has ears to hear and, and eyes to see. Um, led by our, our brother's name, uh, Savan Beaumont. We have yes, the beautiful yes. People. I think I think Savan. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I think Savan is wonderful. I haven't interacted with him directly. He put some of my stuff on his website, um, yeah. and like people have been finding me through. They say I found you through Savan, and it seems divinely connected. And so, mm -hmm. so it's just it's wonderful. I feel like it's a nexus of lots of people that are getting the nutrition that they need from that, uh, whatever it is, like university, whatever we're calling it. Right. Right. Exactly. Really it's good. And then um, again, so deprogramming is one, is one of the courses that we have to to get to even get to a certain access is uh, of knowledge, or because again, you have to with, uh, with Yoda, you have to unlearn what you have learned in the movie and to uh, to move forward because it's a lot of baggage or um, false teachings that you uh, adopted and, and yes. you have to, subconsciously that <laughs> you think is is facts, but completely completely erroneous and completely no, it's not dependent. And you right, know, right. deal with other stuff on top of it and like, oh, boom, boom. And then you're like, I'm here now. <laughs> go back and, okay, let's go back a couple more steps. A couple more steps. Okay, let's yeah. start zero. Yeah. <laughs> and go from there. Um, yeah. Another thing you mentioned was uh, your drawing. And again, the correlation when synchronicity with today, I was also talking to another artist who's a right. uh, artist named uh, Neva. She's from uh, London, amazing artist. Um, but she was talking about how um, she's about to go into creating, um, what is it, not Mandela's, a two-dimensional, um, what are they called? No, they're called, you know what I'm talking about? It's um, not Mandela's, it's, uh, do I have word? I forgot the name of it, but it's a two-dimensional Mandela, but it's, it's two, what is it? I can't find a word for that. You know what a Mandela is? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, awesome, so two-dimensional ones, and uh, she was saying how, but, that drawing is a meditation in itself. When we're talking about how but that's yes. so that's um, you allowing yourself to go into your inner, the inner self, go into your chakras, go into your systems, and uh, really exactly. visualize what is needed to be healed. You know? Exactly. I, I think that drawing is another way of bypassing words. Mm -hmm. And I think words are hacked. I think right. that they are not like a, a pristine way for us to um, share these ideas. So using something like a drawing that goes, it goes beyond English, beyond Chinese, beyond any language that we've created. And I think it speaks to us on a deeper level, very similar to music. Mm -hmm. That And that's kind of the direction that I'm coming from with making these paintings. I try to make them as accurate as I can because the idea is that it gets like beyond whatever language is in here and goes directly into the insight, the energy system, your direct connection to the divine. And because like, Okay, like I'm a walk in. When I first came here, I just drew lots and lots of pictures and I would show them to people. And I'd be like, here, like, look at this. I thought that people would understand that I'm speaking in this language, yeah. but I understood like they didn't get it. They just thought they were pretty pictures. So then I understood like I'm going to have to somehow describe this with language. But language is so inadequate to talk about this world that is um, a magical world, a world of pure consciousness. It's like, I can't even put it into words. So I think music and artwork and animations and videos, these are much better ways of expressing it than words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. By the 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 visual you know, judgment sometimes or you know, things that attach to words, you know. You That's might, right. Uh, uh, say something about a waterfall, but this happened to me at the last time I went to the waterfall and da da da. <laughs> it's not, yes. It's not, not saying all, that. <laughs> uh, uh, all of the words are so loaded and defining, making a definition of something. And if I use a word like demon, then even that has huge religious and emotional yep. connotations, yep. all of these things. So I've made up some words and made some descriptive terms where it's like, we're just going to say like occupiers of the membrane between worlds. Like I make up these euphemisms so that we can have a new way of talking about it. I know, man, I know. <laughs> Hey Curtis, let me ask you. So, do you do like do you do a podcast? Do you do videos? Do you do audio? Like, I see your guitar in the background. What What's your expression? And like, do is, is, do you have a channel? What? How can I find you? Um, I have a channel called uh, it's One Tribe uh, HMU. And, uh, yes, yes. Because when you first emailed me, I looked that up. Good. Okay, I'll connect to you on there. Good. Yeah, I just I just started. I'm, I'm, I'm creating more videos because I I know that. But I've internalized now, <laughs> speaking for the higher self, my ancestors, uh, whatever uh, title we have for it, just the higher consciousness who are saying that if you are like water, like when you get a whole lot of water, say ocean, I'm out of water, and you like receive it, and then you like turn the tap on a little bit and you get some drips. 
you're doing a disservice to the knowledge and stuff that you're giving if you're not only you're only sharing like a little bit of it and you because a lot of the stuff is ineffable and it's hard to break it down into words so i used to feel where i was okay i can't get it out exactly how i'm thinking uh, uh trying to put it in this perfect picture and mold and and i was like okay i just gotta feel, figure out the best way from my uniqueness to share what i'm on the gnosis the knowledge that is coming through and um through music and doing by podcasts is one of the ways of elevate expression so uh, I might use my guitar sometimes. I teach kids too. I teach uh, the youth, youth dances and all kinds of stuff. And awesome, great. Uh, reaching the young people is incredibly important. I'm like, huge mm -hmm. thumbs up. Good for you, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. So doing that as well as um, doing open holistic and health, we have over 153 products you know, for the body that aid you into activating self. Um, and so again, finding my uniqueness and doing more podcasts to share with other Anybody who would know, come by with it, and also um, share it within the tribe too, because to understand that you know the illusion is is just an illusion of, of separation. We never separate. So when we introduce a new face, a new um, a new way of uh, internalizing information, it makes it, it it drops on the wall. It makes you closer to self, closer to singularity, closer to the all. If you see your connection within everyone. Beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, again, I share as best I can, even if it's um, breathing techniques, you know, with the youth, because again, understanding how much to share with the little ones, because some stuff they grasp me too, and they, they get it and they, they love it. And then some things are like, well, I've never seen them tell them this, because they got to go back home to their parents who are still yeah. not in residence, right? Now. Uh, <laughs> they turn I know, no. yes. Mm -hmm. But I think I think little young people definitely can understand like the basics of the colors, the shapes, the way they fit together, and that is really universal. And it doesn't go against any kind of like religious system, or it, well, it won't bring up any sticky points or anything like that. It's just shapes, and I think like that's the power of it. That no one can argue with red, no one can argue with blue. Like it just is what it is. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And that we talking about again earlier the, um, the the drawing, how practical it is, and, and how it bypasses. A certain um, false card that that is holding something getting into and out. It's like when you draw in different shapes, shapes, and geometries, and you realize that you've been doing it for a little while, you start to see these correlations and everything in fruits, in, in the day to day, like in somebody's skin. You might see a light code. You're like, what, what, what is that? <laughs> I see that all the time. No, I'm, I'm the only person that. <laughs> things. Yes. <laughs> on, like, on the texture of yeah. objects and skin, I definitely see that. I know what yeah. you're talking about. I was trying to explain that to some people. I was it's like, what are you talking about? I, like, it's, I yes. see a pattern on your skin. I'm looking at it. I'm like, I, I can't. Exactly. I don't know where to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so I've been seeing that for like two years now. <laughs> Nobody's like, what? I don't see what you're talking about. Uh, okay. Yeah, but yes, yeah, yeah. yes seeing the code. <laughs> And Curtis, I would love to know a little bit about your journey of awakening. Like, have you always been an awake person or was there a time when like you didn't know and then you kind of like had a uh, whatever, like a, a coming forward, something like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, going back to the origin. So, um, always been a person of uh, curiosity. So, uh, curiosity, I've been, well, I, I remember at a, at a young age, I used to make up words, and, but it wasn't like nurtured. You know, it's like, that's not a word. Stop saying stuff like that, you know, and then fit, putting that box around the innocence, you know, as a kid, but never allowing that to really muffle it out. But I grew up in a, a Christian household, like uh, most of, uh, on, you know, in West Side in South Carolina, where I'm from. Um, is, and um, it really came, The arts was always prevalent in, in my my awakening, and then seeing stuff, but then in knowing knowing things, but couldn't can express it verbally as a kid. And I always told that no, um, like in Christian literature, and say uh, God has all the answers. I'm like, okay, now ask a question. Don't ask God. Don't ask the question. Like it was okay for all the answers. Uh, why I never questioned God? So why was uh, okay? So uh, so I'm you know, to no place that place in my consciousness where I began to read so much but couldn't question a lot of it within the paradigm that I was in, with the home that I was in, I say the community. Um, what, like more of a traditional Christian upbringing? Exactly. Yeah. 
yeah and that's a heavy program to like break <laughs> through there's a lot because there's like about suffering it's saying like you have to suffer it's saying like you're a sinner right right that didn't make sense as a kid i just didn't understand i'm born a sinner. i was born bad and then, no, none of that the makes whole, sense then the whole black and and white thing the racism racism and the ratios being also how we look yeah all that was so much of a program so anybody i see outside of religion has has i was coming through it i'm like oh my. I, I give them a like huge hug like you this is like your your mom was in your dad was in your great grandma was in their great 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 so this has been something that's been you know keeping your within your dna for that you finally you know wake up and get to next level um you see i think uh, you're talking about ancestral healing like in this um body each one of us gets to do the healing that reverberates into our ancestries so that they can be free to. And I think that like there are all, all of these different like genocides that have happened that people carry the trauma from their ancestors. Mm -hmm. And then it's up to us to say, hey, we need to heal that in this generation so that we can be free and we can actually relate to one another without all the baggage mm -hmm. of what has happened hundreds or possibly thousands of years ago. Exactly. So, yeah. and, and I think that all of what we're doing with that is like a microcosm of the fractal of what's happening with space. That there are all of these different space races that are like, you're my sworn enemy from millennia mm -hmm. ago. But it's like, at this point, it is time to have ancestral healing of the ancestral traumas of the space races. So I always think about that, like what we're doing on our planet is the fractal microcosm of what's happening in much, much greater levels. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, birth, birthing from that and, um, and coming to a space where where I stood in confidence on what I was feeling. Um, even if I didn't really understand it all the way, you know, and I'm like, no, this is not right. I don't know what it is. I know what the answer is, but I know that's not the answer. And yeah. You keep following that that resonance, that what was in harmony. I knew it felt good. I know it sounded good. So they say you, you remember truth, but it's a resonance, you know, it's not just a you know, book that you like, oh, you hear that, you, hear this, you feel it, you understand it. So allowing that resonance to take you different places. I actually went to, they say, you know, I tell my students, so you never know you're in a box until you leave the box. Um, so yes, I, very good. That is an excellent point. I'm like applauding. <laughs> yeah, so when I left, um, and then, you know, I started the grad school program, I actually left there. Um, he studied in Kenya, East Africa, and that gave me the opportunity to really express myself completely, unapologetically. Um, no, no, none of the usual um, social constructs that was no changing down here, like talking to spin and even um holding hands with people, like men holding hands together and talking and just because I'm happy to see you, you might walk in you know, on the street and hope like all that was like what they're doing what and then, then being relaxed enough to let everything I knew bend down and being able to open a new space, um, open myself up in a new space and gave me the um, awareness of self and all this connecting and being able to connect with beautiful people of Oh, globally, you know, and have that same resonance and realizing that the space that I was in was not conducive of healthy growth. And then from that, you know, tapping into other uh, meditative practices, stretching, uh, yoga, and um, deeper knowledge that uh, allowed me to find myself even more and emerge my uniqueness from that. And now I just continue to expand, expand. And I just got something um, my brother said, uh, Years ago. He said, saying how um, knowledge protects itself. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, you know, all these great knowledge. I think you said it too, um, <laughs> flying lasagna. Like, somebody evil, you no, know, got flying, they wouldn't be able to. They, uh, why? How? This, why does this make sense? He's just, oh, he's just, like, it protects itself. If you're not able to send a lot of light or your, your DNA to tap into. I totally agree. I even think like people eject themselves. If they are not ready for the band, mm -hmm. they eject themselves. They're like, oh, I'm not even, and then they kind of like walk away in a huff. Exactly. Come back when they're ready. Exactly. So it's for all who's in residence. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 I make videos for, and that's what I know people who are gravitate to your energy. They, they feel your, they feel the resonance, and they come in, and then those yeah. who stick around long enough to feel it and really internalize it. Is there so yeah. I want to operate on that same frequency of consistency, and that's another thing I honor, honor uh, you with consistency, and that's something I'm working through myself. In the Thank you. Video speaking about uh, real things of of <laughs> of magnitude of value, not the newest uh, thing on the charts on some TV station or TV exactly. show. The trend. There's always a YouTube trend. It used to be Mandela effect. 
Then for a little while, it was Tartaria and the mud floods. Yeah. For a little while, it was flat earth. And then it's like, if you are trendy, then you catch on the trends. And then that's how people do their thing. I never did any of that stuff. And I always felt like that was not my path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Learning uh, and with I have a business too. Uh, you got to the whole six times. But um, riding the trends, uh, if you know how to do it, is <laughs> uh, um, uh, profitable. Like, um, because somebody accidentally might click on your link and say like, oh, that's not what I said. But you really like go from, let's say, uh, I was I was selling uh, African um, attire at one point. And, um, and Black Panther came out, I don't even see the movie, uh, Marvel movie. And like I used that Black Panther trend to get some more things out. And it was like, oh, then he's got this. And then he also got some crystal bracelets. And then they also got into some meditation. And then they all trying to make an organ and stuff like that. So. Okay. Yes. When you yes. Choose, uh, use massive distractions at you know, I think that's a, a virtuoso way of redeeming like pop culture stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like use it as a bridge to connect to people that otherwise wouldn't engage with stuff that's maybe more intellectual or have be deeper or whatever. <laughs> right, right, right. And yeah. same thing with music sometimes. I had I just it's on my students. I taught college students as well where um used to do something called lyrics matter session yeah. where i would take um a song popular song and, and really print out all the lyrics fast about in class and like oh, this, this really like i like the beat uh mr curtis and uh like because we go through it I, do you really, really like what the song is talking about do you really be is this how you feel like was, like well not necessarily i just like the beat okay well let's look up some some instrumentals, you know, but so. Totally, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing to interrupt you, but yeah, there's so many songs where I like the instrumental part mm -hmm. and then what the music, the lyrics are saying, I don't resonate with. And they might even be saying things that are hateful or like, um, but they say that like, I'm so insecure. And like, I don't want to sing those words. I right. make up new words all the yes. time. I will sing <laughs> something else. Like life is so beautiful, life is so amazing. I would put those words in it. Right, right, right. Same here, same here. Because yeah. you know the resonance, and the words, and the way the, it's good for. the voice is powerful. Like mm -hmm. I, I mean, if, do you ever do collaborative videos? Would you ever like to do a video together? Definitely, yes. Thank you. I would love to because I think that would be a great topic for a video on the power or an audio or podcast or whatever. The power of our voice. Like we mm -hmm. often use our voices very casually and we even say things that aren't truthful. Like we use sarcasm, but like our voices make things true. <laughs> so we have to, I think, be a lot more like mindful about how we use them and what we do with them. Mm -hmm. Right. And again, we can use this too. I'm always sending this to you. I'll uh, compress it and send it to you as well so you can use it and post it on your channel too. I'll be um, but yeah, just uh, how important it, it is. With all this, the, we know, uh, you know the side of whether the, the patterns or the geometry that sound is called cymatics. That, so that, we, totally, totally. Yes, I'm with you all the way. I love you. Yes. Right. We love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So seeing those cymatics and knowing that these actually, these that uh, sound really penetrates your body. It, it, of course, it has an effect on your body. We've seen what is um, Dr. Emoto's work where he shows. He, Dr. Emoto was great. I think he exactly. did really good work. I have an oscilloscope, and if you sing into the oscilloscope, it makes these patterns, and it looks a lot like the geometries that I paint. And it's it was a big, huge breakthrough when I saw that program. I was like, this looks exactly like what I paint, and that was what made me go more into understanding music. So mm -hmm. yeah, our voice is literally builds polygons, builds geometries mm -hmm. with what we're saying. Mm -hmm. And that's where magical incantations come from, you know, like mm -hmm. abracadabra, magical incantations. Right. They knew the power of resonating. And there's still some things like Sanskrit language and some incantations and mantra that are coming from there that it's like the frequency is very important and very powerful, but not everyone knows in this era how powerful it is. Right, right, right. I don't think every class I teach you, we talk about you know, how old is English, you know, and you didn't realize that the like, oh, forever, you know, I've been here thousands of years. Like, oh, no, it's only been here about 700 years. So. There's other ways of, uh, of speaking that, you know, and you tell me a little more about um, uh, the importance of voice and, and uh, how important of learning languages. When you learn new languages, you talk to most people, you can meet new friends, and you can tell us the kids, like, oh, we do friends, it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, so you know, to get the importance of seeing um, the importance of the voice, how it, it blends in harmony, I would love to see this 
like oh, it's one of my future pred um, predictions uh, projections of uh, seeing like the future technology that we speak you can see the 3D uh, cymatic coming through and you see it then when people are like doing a concert together you see there's some cymatic cymatic like shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Yes. Curtis, it's on the way. What you are envisioning is literally cooking on the stove. It's being developed on the way. It's coming. Yes, yes. 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 I'm that's super sweet. excited about it. Yep. Mm, yeah. And I, again, I think that's the redemption of technology. I think that's using this digital format for something like, you know, we can make music, we can make painting, we can do that in ancient Greece, but to put them together in some a way, like you're talking about 3D cymatics, you know, visualized in the hologram, that's pretty intense and I think it almost like makes it worthwhile to like all the pollution and everything that we endure to yeah. have the technology. Let's make something beautiful with this beautiful right. technology. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, what we're talking about, uh, conscious, uh, conscious entrepreneurship. You know, there's so many ways of, uh, you can create, you know, it's another thing. Yes. That, so we talk about, uh, again, I can see you because you know, when you're talking about the future, you, you're not talking about the youth, you ain't talking about money, you're not talking about it. <laughs> you're not taking care of the kids. So, um, having, <laughs> we're actually working on something now called Mindful Kids, where we- What's it called again? Mindful Kids. On okay. Mindful, where we, can, we, we share the same knowledge, but just on a different scale, you know. Um, that's so beautiful. I wonder mm -hmm. if you'd ever want, I mean, if I could make like a lasagna that's explained like for young people without using any type of words or concepts that are like beyond their level of development. I, mm -hmm. I would love to do something like that. I don't know if I got, I get <laughs> I don't know if I have a video now, but I definitely have it some way on my phone or another computer where um, in my classes, my, from, where, from January to May? Um, when I taught my, um, one of my classes at one of the schools I went to, always had uh, the audio uh, flying lasagna on picture on in the background, in the classroom. Love it, like, good. Just going there and, and cause this thing again going into the consciousness. I might be teaching, um, talking about you know, a dance, but flying live lasagna, that might turn to solid. Let's just do the video and not the audio and just have it, you know, we have it going and have them no, this is kind of visually, I can't really explain I it. love it. And I have animations I can send to you or like a yes. Dropbox file if you want to use something formally, whatever. I'm so happy to give it to you. Yes. yes. Lasagna five, baby lasagnas. That's baby what I call lasagna. it. Baby lasagnas. <laughs> I did a class on also again. I showed them um, that you're definitely part of my DNA. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so honored. I'm hugging you through the phone. I love you. That love is you exactly too. That is exactly how this flying rainbow lasagna works. It is like when I dance, I'm resonating through your DNA and you hear my song and then you send out your song and I'm like, now I hear you playing back to me and it's the most beautiful back and forth. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you for dancing with me. Yes, always. <laughs> Anytime. Good. And then it's even better when we find each other and we can talk on the phone. Like we do the mm -hmm. telepathic dance, but then we can actually talk on the phone too. Mm -hmm. And I think it is worthwhile and powerful to do conversations and videos and things for people that aren't yet telepathic so that they can kind of sense like what is going on. I truly believe people are getting their, their telepathy online, but yes. it's just like a little baby. Like it takes time to learn how to walk, to learn how to do all these different things. You can't expect to do it overnight. Mm -hmm. So there's stages of development just like with like little babies. Mm -hmm, exactly, exactly. And then having another thing we're doing is uh, we have an application that's coming out where we merge um, different levels of the practice throughout different cultures, be it Ayurvedic, uh, in Hindu practices or kinetic practices with lines of my eye, the numerology, astrology, and we merge into something called Indianology, where we, we make it a gamified, where it, it, it meets you wherever you are. You know, you put your information oh, okay. in, and it's kind of like a gamified way to get you to access different parts of self. You know, let's say if you want to exercise, then you know, it would check on you and see, like, you said you want to the other day, you know, you're doing such and such, or any questions you have, we have um, artificial intelligence bot uh, called Mindful Bot that we're going to basically roll out in the next month or so, but we're going to be launching it. But it allows, it, it gives you that step by step because a lot, there's no teachers who's teaching this, you know, that's really without. Um, an ego based or uh, driven, you know, um, part of them that's no in it for the cash or got a slight tweak in uh, in their system that it kind of diverts it, you know, a bit. So, we're giving them something in hand that they can really be self governing. And when they want to connect with a live person, they can just connect with a live person. Or one of us. Very nice. And, uh, 
So is is the app is it like self programming that like because you say it's AI so is it like is it like a chat bot or can you tell me more of like yeah, the yeah that, that bot um, that's been developing so with uh, with Secret Energy it's been going about seven has launched it probably said, actually over ten years now so we took all of uh, different questions people ask people ask questions um, uh, different topics that we discuss at nauseum blog and uh, compressed all into the database. And I uh, got a script so that the any question that is asked, it can uh, instead of somebody coming and saying, "Oh, uh, well, how, how to raise your link, da da da," and you know, long conversation, bah, spits it out, and as well as um, uh, audios of um, time that's been mentioned throughout the, the ten years that we've been here. And if they want even deeper information, they will you know, connect you with a live person who had. Yeah, so that's something beautiful, that's innovative. Yeah, yeah it's really huge. another way to use the technology that has been you know, bastardized for for so long. So now we can use it in, in a new light. That's it. That's I'm all about this. Like literally this year, I just got some of this DJ type of equipment that most people use for this very soulless electronic music. But yep. I'm using it for things that are like 432 hertz and gongs and chimes and things that are way more like real and analog, which there's a way to use all these things. Like you said, tools in the tool belt that right. we use them. They don't use us. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Really beautiful. I didn't realize until like recently uh, this year that I could just, <laughs> Yeah, little, I'm not a butcher or so yet, but <laughs> and the piano here, but tune it to uh, it's just simple. Go to functioning settings and just find that you can just change settings to 432, you know? Exactly, exactly. And I think that there's a couple of other filters that you can run something through at the end that whatever you recorded, I think that you can tune it to 432. I, I, you know, there's, there's some way to do that. I would like to get that information whenever you have that. I, was I have to figure it out. I will totally figure it out and then get it to you. I'm, I, and I admit, like, I don't know everything. I literally just got the DJ equipment and Ableton, like, in February of this year. So it's mm -hmm. super, super new to me. So, like, that's a total expansion for me, going from visual to also auditory type of expression of these mm -hmm. harmonics. And mm -hmm. my, my goal is to be able to, like, say, what if you take a painting and we're going to make it sound like sound waves? Like, that's, mm -hmm. you know... The, the ultimate goal, I think that would be amazing. Right. So right. that's the direction that I'm moving in. The color has a frequency. We have an app that can scan the colors and play the frequencies of the colors and we can play a still or a drone-like chord from the song. Exactly. It could be a chord or it could be a melody where we're starting with like the larger frequencies and then showing like there's all sorts of different really super cool ways of doing this. <laughs> I know your brain is already going on it. You're right. It's something amazing. <laughs> like, you're talking about it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's yeah, that's gonna make that up tomorrow. Like, oh man, that's crazy. Um, that's Curtis, I have to tell you, I have to get going on my packing for my journey oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Thank yes. you so much for understanding. I wish I had a bit more time. It's so lovely to talk with you and finally connect with you. You're a lovely person. I'm very happy that you reached out to me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, again, likewise. And it's only the first. Thank you. Many beautiful connections. The dance has begun. Exactly, on. exactly. I feel like we like we like broke through a major membrane today. Like we actually got on the phone together. Yes. yes. <laughs> so again, keep vibing and resonant, sister. Keep doing your thing. Keep shining. Now I do the same as a beautiful reflection of you. I know you. Mm -hmm. So until next time, sister. Because we know time is an illusion. So that's right. See you soon. That's right. Much love to you, and thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. Wholeness and balance. Wholeness and balance vibrations. If you enjoyed this message and found it to be motivating, and you like to keep the momentum going, check out some of the links down below. You can even join me in our sovereignty mentorship program, or get some amazing metaphysical adornments by connecting to us on our website and more. Thanks for listening. Wholeness.